of 3715. Sunday evenings about 6.30, Tuesday mornings at 9 o'clock, and Thursday mornings at 9 o'clock. I got a little bit of noise here this morning, so I may need some help. It's uh, 79 degrees and the sun's shining here at my house in Greenville, South Carolina. CQ, CQ, the old friend's net. It's an AM net only, and like I say, we meet three times a week, and everybody who can generate an AM signal is welcome. CQ, the old friend's net. This is K4VWD, and I will stand by for calls. In four LQ. K three R S. W B four A R K. W B four N K L. W A four E V K. Okay, let me uh. There was a couple of stations after Steve LQ and before Buddy ARK, and I could not copy. I got in the noise. I may need some help. Uh, so call call again, please. Those two stations. I'm guessing one of them may be uh, may be from Myrtle Beach. Anyway, uh, two stations between Steve and Buddy. Please call again. KN4R and K3OS. Okay, I think I got it. R and OS. Uh, so, right now, here's what I got LLR, LQ, R, OS, ARK, and NKL. Who else do we have? W4MEC. I did not copy that. Who was that? Charlie. That was Charlie. That was Charlie. MEC. Okay. MEC. Okay. Anybody else? Don't hear any. So here's the sequence. LR to LQ to R to OS to ARK to NKL to MEC and back to me. So Dave, go ahead. WA four LLR in the group, K four V W D. WA4LLR in the group N4LQ and uh, we got some strange conditions going on here. Dave is really weak here and uh, Lee's about to blow my speaker off the table. So anyway, good morning to everybody. Uh, looks like another nice warm day here and Shelby is in store. And uh, I'm using the Amico TX86 this morning, and I'm listening on the Malachite uh, SDR receiver, which is uh, turning out to be pretty nice. More about it later. So, uh, Brian, KN4R, N4LQ. Okay, Steve, very good, N4LQ, and the Tuesday old friend. This is Brian, KN4R, Sheryl's Ford, North Carolina, where it looks like it's going to be a nice, muggy day today. 
working on honeydews. The wife's in Bowling Rock with uh, her girlfriends, and then she has a book club tonight, so I'm batching it today. So uh, anyway, I'm using the, uh, the GRC-165 uh, today, running it through a little amplifier. So, and, uh, so over to you, Gary, K3OS, and the old friends, this is KN4R. All right. Morning, everybody. KN4R and the group from K3OS. From bright, sunshiny Hickory. Well, a little cloud here. Uh, just a quick note to Cliff. Cliff, I think I found the problem. I will. Uh, so no need to uh, no need to go nuts. There's no. Uh, I think a little bit of rebuilding stupidity on my part here. So <clears throat> anyway, I will uh, I will let you know. Uh, I'm working on the Gonset transmitter, and I think I found. Uh, a wiring error on my part. Well, anyway, well, hope, hopefully that will be uh, that will be it. So, um, aside from that, nothing else going on. Uh, yeah, I, really, uh, extremely strong here, and he's not today. So, Steve, I share your uh, I see your sermons. Brian, you're sounding good. Steve, you're sounding good too. Um, uh, hopefully, I can get some of this older gear working and back on the air. Of course, I do have the LMAC, which I can I can throw on as soon as I can get to it. Down to, uh, buddy, you're loud and strong here, buddy, W-4-N-K, uh, uh, yeah, sorry, W-4-A-R-K, K-3-O-S. K-3-O-S, W-4-A-R-K, okay, Gary. Uh, Brian's signal's a little weak today, and so it is uh, Dave. And I heard uh, another station is there right after uh, Lee turn the net over to us, call in, I'm not sure who it was, I didn't have my headphones on, we'll see if we can pick them up at the end, so uh, here it's uh, clear as it was yesterday, virtually all day long, and we got a couple of comments about uh, positive uh, modulation to uh, make on the next round. So with that, over to uh, Cliff, WB4NKL, WB4ARK. WB4ARK is WB4NKL. Okay, buddy, I heard, uh, heard Boone, WA4EVK, and I heard George, K4GDN, uh, after uh, after I checked in, so those two guys are are out there. I guess we can put them after put them after Charlie. Uh, Gary, glad you found your problem. I, I was looking at that schematic, and it, it looked like uh, there's only two possibilities there. So if you come up with a third possibility, <laughs> uh, but uh, well. Glad, glad, you, glad you got it straightened out. That's sometimes it's over e easy to overlook uh, something when it's uh, staring you in the face there sometimes. Uh, conditions are kind of up and down here. Uh, some of the stations are normally strong and weaker. Bad conditions. 74 degrees and supposed to get on up in the 80s, I think, here today. So. Get down here. I guess we'll try to get a get a walk in before it gets too hot. Uh, go ahead, Charlie. W four M E C W B four N K L. You still fighting those insurance agents? Hey, W B four N K L and group W four M E C. Good morning, everybody. Seventy degrees here and clear. Beautiful day outside. And uh, audio is coming through there. I wonder why that is. Oh. Anyway, hey, that's interesting. What was up? Uh, yeah, I got the guy who came out and did an estimate. I think he did right by me. He uh, uh, was adding in stuff, but perhaps he shouldn't have added in. I was trying to be honest about it, and he's, <laughs> he took it and said, well, is it damaged? I said, yeah. I said, okay. Uh, a couple of places that uh, gutter issues and things like that. I don't know how much money they're going to give me. I hope they give me something. Uh, more than they gave me on my trailer. They gave me $10,000 to have my trailer fixed, and all it had was a hole punched in the roof. 
didn't, the branch didn't even go through, it just cracked the roof in one little spot. So uh, I'm hoping for a little more than that. Well, I'll have to explain themselves. But anyway, I was trying to figure out my, my, my granddaughter was supposed to have a eye surgery, nothing major, uh, has a block duct this morning, and my daughter was trying to get her up there, and I-26 is a royal mess, and I was just looking in the rate on the traffic pattern there, and it's blood red. I, I read that uh, my wife said the, the mountain was closed down from Saluda to Columbus. I-26 in both directions was shut down, and uh, you look on the, uh, the traffic flow in Columbia, or rather Columbus, uh, across uh, to Tryon, and it's all blood red going up the mountain on 176 is, is red to orange. It is a royal mess. Be glad you don't have to go to work this morning. So she's stuck in a major traffic jam in Tryon, trying to get to Asheville. So good luck with that. So And be there by uh, 10 o'clock, which ain't going to happen. So uh, who knows what's going on. I see a story here about a big wreck. I just pulled it up before my turn came up, and I see a tank truck on its side and a whole bunch of trees torn down. So something happened this morning that is uh, paying dividends right now. So <laughs> so let's see. Uh, back up to Lee, K4VWD in the group, W4MBC. Okay, Charlie, thank you. This is K4VWD. Well, we're going to try uh, Boone and, uh, and George. So, George, uh, K4GDN, if you're there, go ahead and make a transmission. K4GDN, I'm talking to you about the cellular. I'll tell you George turned it over to you. Okay, well, let's try Boone. Uh, K4EVK, this is K4VWD. Go ahead. K4VWD in the group, WA4EVK. Boy, conditions are strange this morning. I will not be here long. I, I mean, I won't be. I'll make this transition short. I'm having trouble hearing Charlie and Dave, so never have that, has that happened before. Uh, finally got all the storm damage fixed here, except for some minor issues. So I got enough uh, power to get the linear back on there, so I hope everybody's fine. So back to you, Lee. Stay for WD, WA4EDK. Okay, I could tell Boo was in there, but I couldn't copy it. Call me now. Well, I don't hear anybody, so maybe, maybe the noise will quit. Um, it, uh, it's good to hear everybody this morning, and I still got my crazy uh, hummingbird that won't light on the, on the feeder, but there's one that does come and sits, sits on it occasionally, so it's, it's interesting. And um, everything's going fine here in my house today so far. So, uh, Dave, I hope you got some information for us. WA4LLR in the group, K4VWD. K4VWD in the group, WA4LLR. Well, I, I'll, I'll hope somebody can hear it if I've got it. <laughs> and Lee, I've got one of those hummingbirds, too. Uh, we've got one that... Uh, wants to he won't sit down he just hovers in midair but now we've got some more that come sit down and rest and uh, and feed but uh, yep we've got an oddball too <laughs> he must not his landing gear may not be working correctly it's interesting interesting morning i'm having a hard time well i'm not having a hard time hearing him but steve is weak and brian is strong <laughs> so <laughs> Uh, that's 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 interesting. Uh, Charlie's weak, and uh, uh, it's crazy. 
Well, if if you look at the at the space weather, we've had. I mean, there's one giant sunspot that's producing uh, M-class flares like a, a machine gun, pretty much. Uh, and they're saying we get, we're probably going to catch the impact of a CME today, today, either today or tomorrow, and it may may already be starting in. But uh, anyhow. Uh, Brian, the uh, GRC-165 was really sounding good up here on that, uh, that previous transmission. Anyway, uh, the space weather that I downloaded just before I got on, sunspot count was 218, solar flux index 195, and the K at that time was 1.67. It's probably higher now. And I saw an interesting article. I saw that China is getting ready to launch very low Earth orbit satellites. They're going to launch a constellation of Earth observing, and in other words, uh, spy satellites, uh, beginning in December, and they're going to be orbiting lower than 185 miles. So, to me, doing that at a sunspot maximum is is awfully foolhardy. But maybe they know something that uh, that we don't. They said the. Uh, their uh, spatial recognition, uh, you know, they could resolve objects uh, uh, about a foot, just over a foot wide, or, you know, somewhere in that ballpark. But I'll bet they can do better. But keeping those birds uh, in orbit, in an orbit that low, is going to be some kind of major undertaking. Anyway, enough about that. Uh, a few things from this day in history. Uh, on this day in uh, uh, 2013, Black Lives Matter uh, came into being. On this day in 1960, John F. Kennedy was nominated for president. Uh, on this day in 1978, Henry Ford II fired Lee Iacocca. <laughs> uh, on this day in uh, uh, 1955, the last woman was hanged for murder in Great Britain. And on this day in 1943, the largest tank battle in history took place. It was the Battle of Kursk, Germans invading. It involved 6,000 tanks, 2 million men, 5,000 aircraft, and it ended with the Germans being repulsed at heavy cost. So that's a few things on this day in history. Steve, down to you. Let's see if the band's changed. And I'm curious about the Malachite SDR. Uh, seemed like what I read about it was not uh, not wonderful, but uh, evidently it's pretty good. N4LQ, WA4LLR. Okay, the WA4LLR, N4LQ. Well, um, to answer your question about the Malachite, uh, I bought one about a year ago and it was terrible, but they have gone through five major hardware revisions and umpteen different software revisions and it's finally reached the point where it's one of the best receivers I've ever operated. I mean, it, it is absolutely amazing. Of course, it fits in the palm of your hand and it, uh, it will run on the internal battery for 12 hours. And with a little whip antenna, telescopic whip, you can pull that out and walk around outside and it'll pick up everything uh, from 10kc VLF up to 2 gigahertz. So it's very, very sensitive and it's, it's got a manual, 56 page long manual. <laughs> and I'm trying to record it right now so uh, if this works out, I'll put it on YouTube, depending on how it sounds. But uh, you guys all sound good on it. Uh, George was pretty weak, but it, I did pick him up. And uh, the, the signals are just all over the place, and they're changing up and down. So it's a little bit hard to follow. And uh, there's a lot of settings in here. I can adjust all the, the features of the AGC, even. It's just... Uh, a tremendous number of options and adjustments that you can get into and change. So uh, it's almost like having a, uh, a little SDR play in a box with the display and the controls and all that. Only it's, this is definitely better, I do believe. It's even got synchronous AM. 
uh, upper lower side band or both so it's it's got it all so anyway I won't say too much more about that and uh, Brian your GRC sounds great here you were really strong and uh, <laughs> so it's just uh, crazy conditions um, Charlie uh, I-26 sounds like a good thing to stay away from so uh, Brian over to you KN4R N4LQ Okay, Steve, very good, N4LQ, and a Thursday old friend, this is Brian, KN4R returning. Well, you were really strong, too, Steve, and so right at the end of the transmission, where uh, QSB got you, uh, but uh, anyway, thanks for the update on the Malachi, I'm glad it showed up, and uh, it sounds like we all need one, and it sounds like a terrific receiver, can't wait to see the video, I'm assuming, uh, I don't know if that radio has a, a front end, you know, uh, a user interface, or uh, uh, or if you can control it from your PC uh, or both. So uh, anyway, I'm looking forward to the video. Uh, that's terrific. And uh, let's see, I'm copying everybody. Uh, uh, George, I mean, Boone was very loud here that last time. So uh, uh, I heard George just barely, though. So, and I appreciate the signal report and audio report. So I don't get too many good ones up with this rig, but I like to use it. So. Uh, we got honeydews to do today, trying to make progress, and uh, uh, finally got the irrigation straightened out, it's working great now, and uh, the awning got, I had squirrel deep through my awning, and uh, also ate through the wire, so uh, the awning guy is coming out to uh, to do that today around lunchtime, so I'll be just out. So, over to you, Gary, K3OS of the old friend, kn 4 r and for our KZRS. <clears throat> okay, Brian. Took a little dip, but came back up in the end. All good. And uh, Steve, I'm glad to hear it. We'll be uh, interested to see that review. I thought uh, I thought they didn't ship it and they sent you something else, but uh, I'm glad you got it. Be very interested because I'm looking for something to go noise sniffing around here. I've got a uh, oh, uh, what is it? The uh, the little uh, tiny SA, but. Uh, a receiver, a wideband receiver, might uh, might prove to be more beneficial. Uh, yeah, and I did hear George and, and Boone copying everybody, which is really uh, really nice today. So let me pass it around. Uh, w uh, W uh, B four A R K. Go ahead, buddy. K three O S. K three O S W B four A R K. Okay, Gary, your signal is uh, holding steady. Brian's signal is rather weak today. George's signal is very weak. Boone's signal is weak. Dave is weak. And let's see what else. Um, Steve, you're uh, readable. Not, I wouldn't say weak, but it is sem semi-weak. And uh, so that's it, uh, signal wise. And well, boom, I don't know if I mentioned yours, uh, you're somewhat weak. But anyway, about the uh, modulation, uh, the lopsided uh, modulation, the, um, the way you can. Um, uh, change your uh, modulation pattern is to reverse the leads on your mic. If you are using a D104, you have a an element that is uh, floating. One side is not normally grounded, and you can um, you can change that. Uh, Swap the uh, leads on the uh, on the element at the output in the base, and otherwise you'd have to change the uh, secondary on the mod transformer, feeding the uh, power output tube. But the problem with lopsided modulation, or actually being able to utilize that is the power capabilities of the modulators that we have. Our modulators do not 
uh, for the commercial transmitters are not do not have enough power to uh, uh, produce a good um, lopsided signal. They're, they're limited to just about what they can produce under normal circumstances, which is 100%. And you're going to need a modulator that will go higher than 100%. So uh, that's, a, that's an issue with, uh, with those uh, transmitters. So with that, um, we'll turn it over to Cliff, WB4, NKL, WB4, ARK. WB4, ARK, it's WB4, NKL. Okay, yeah, buddy. Now, another thing you can do on those uh, transmitters like that where the modulator's not quite up to snuff is uh, sacrifice a little output power back your loading down and reduce your uh, plate current a little bit and then uh, the modulator don't have to uh, work quite as hard and he probably won't notice a difference in the carrier output but uh, that uh, I've run into that you know where the some of the rigs where the modulator is a little on the weak side and uh, it's easy to swap them around like uh, I forget who was talking about which which way the, I guess Gary which way the plate caps go it's easy to swap the swap them around on those and one side might have a little higher uh, modulation output. I think I copied everybody. George was a little weak, but uh, everybody was, was coming in readable here with the, with the band condition. So it's a good thing. Go ahead, Charlie. W4, MEC, WB4, NKL. Okay, Cliff, uh, WB4NKL and Group W4MEC. Uh, I, I didn't have any luck copying George that time, so if he's still there, uh, when I turn it over, someone might have to tell him. <laughs> he probably doesn't hear me either. Uh, let's see, you got the... Uh, some things are going to get finally get started on fixing my house here and some other things I'm going to get done. Having, still having some bad luck with a couple other things, but that's just the way it is. And I uh, was hoping to get my uh, shop uh, uh, changed around a bit. I, got, I need to swap my workbench out on my, my, on my table there, and uh, I got the limited space to do it. I have to move a bunch of stuff in order to get the... Uh, the table in place and then move it all back. So, <laughs> and the, and the moving, uh, the moving all the stuff is it takes more time and and uh, uh, getting the thing in place. So, uh, but the weather's been nice. I can open the garage door and and uh, uh, get that uh, get that done. So, and hopefully I got that DX one hundred B from. Uh, uh, Ken uh, W4HKZ, who got it from Richard W4WU, and it's been sitting uh, out there in my garage there, waiting to get installed. And, uh, and now that I move my main gear from Studio B in the garage into the house, I now have room to set it up and uh, get it going. So uh, and see what that thing sounds like on the old friend's net. So. A couple radio projects and uh, get get uh, Lee's uh, HRO checked out. Figure out what's going on with that. Uh, Fritz made a couple of changes. Uh, I think he made a couple of changes. I, I'm still unclear whether the uh, automatic noise limiter was an option in the HRO or did it come with it. And uh, uh, because where the tubes are supposed to go, there's nothing there. The holes are in the chassis, but there's no tubes or, or sockets. And uh, the other thing is uh, one of the stages, he pulled the uh, octal and installed a pair of tubes, one being a regulator, and the other one sort of looks like a triode. So I don't know what he's doing there, but I need to sort that out. Maybe it's a, it's thinking that it's a triode. Maybe it's a BFO or something like that, but... Uh, with a regulated power supply. So I have to decode Fritz's work there and put it on paper for Lee. So, <laughs> All right, I'm going to try and turn it over to George. If he doesn't hear me, uh, someone let him go. K4GDN in the group, W4MEC.
they're improving in some respects in that I'm copying everybody, but the strong stations really aren't that strong, but comfortable. Again, I'm receiving on the HRO 521, and I'm curious what kind of HRO uh, you're working on there for me. It sounds like it's one of the older fives. I've got a 5A1, an early 5A1, which I like too. It's, it's a nice receiver. And, uh, but I'm really impressed with this 521. I was a little concerned at first, but now it seems to be going good. I did have to replace one too. They had a couple of resistors that had been recapped before I got it, but I did change the, the main filter cap. I don't like combination caps. I put two separate caps in there just just for grins. But anyway, like I said, I'm covering everybody fairly well here. I'm on the center fed dipole this morning, not the end fed. And uh, I'm running the mic into it about 100 watts. So with that, I'm going to pass it all over to food. WA4 EVK to group K4 GDN. You're up, Boone. Okay, thank you, WA4 EVK. Uh, I was watching uh, George's carrier, but I didn't see it disappear. Things have gotten crazy. Uh, kind of almost an inversion. Of reception here. Dave is weak. Uh, just barely here, Lee, and all that. And I lost power right in the middle of all that, so uh, I'm not sure what's going on in the neighborhood this morning. Uh, and on that note, I'm going to sign and uh, get on out of here and see what's, uh, what's going on. We just finally got all the storm damage fixed. I'm a little, still a little bit leery of, uh, of uh, what's happening. The WA4 EVK will be clear and turn over the lead. K4 VWD. Okay, very good, Boone. This is K4 VWD. Well, that time around, Dave, I copied everything you said. And Steve, I, uh, the noise got to you. Brian, I could get your word every now and then. Um, Gary, I understood the last part of your transmission. Buddy is 40 over. He's the strongest, and, and no cop, no trouble with Buddy at all. Cliff, uh, you're a little on the weak side here because of the noise, but still 100% copy. Charlie, I can tell you in there, and I catch words every now and then. Same thing with George. And uh, with Boone, I could copy okay, but this noise is terrible. And uh, I guess we're getting close to a 73 round. Things are fine here. The uh, temperature here has uh, climbed up to 82 degrees already. So um, it, 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 like Dave said, it's going to be a warm one today, that's for sure. So here we go one more time at least. WA4 LLR in the group, K4 VWD. All right, Lee, K4 VWD in the group, WA4 LLR. Yeah, the band's very strange today. <laughs> anyway, let's see. Uh, Boom, glad you've got your storm damage repaired. And Charlie, the DX100B will sound good, they always do. And George, if you're copying, I got almost all that transmission. You came up some that time. Uh, let's see here. Steve, I'm curious. I'm wondering which version of the Malachite you have. I was looking at them on Amazon, and they run every, anywhere from 190 to $260, depending. And I'm wondering if you got the one that's just the screen I mean, the screen takes up the whole rig, or if you've got the one that has, I guess it's a speaker uh, in in the, in the side of it, uh, which is about a third longer than the other one. And I'm wondering which version, version 3, version 4, or which one you got. And it's interesting, I was looking at the specs, and uh, I was hoping it was continuous tuning, but it looks like um, it, the specs say 50 kilohertz up to 250, then there's a gap to 400, and then it goes up to a 2 gig. So I'm just curious. <clears throat> it looks like they left out the military aviation frequencies and some other stuff. But uh, 
I wonder which version you got. Did you get the one that's got the speaker in the front uh, panel? Anyway, uh, 73 round, Lee, thanks for calling the net. 73, God bless everybody. Have a great day. Stay cool if you can. And Lord willing, we'll try to get with you Sunday afternoon. We'll see how that goes. Uh, N4LQ, WA4LLR. Okay, WA4LLR in the group, N4LQ. Boy, oh boy, I tell you, Lee, uh, your signal was pinning my meter all the way over to the right. I don't know how I could be weak down there. But anyway, um, yeah, Dave, to answer your question, it, there are so many dozens of different Malachites. You have to really read up on this stuff. I can send you a link to the one I bought and uh, it took me a month to get it, but I got it. The first time I, I received a little package in the mail that weighed about two ounces, and it was a uh, remote control for something, I had no idea what. And that was the, tra the right tracking number, and I thought I had been scammed. So I requested a refund via PayPal, and the next day they shipped it and uh, it had been sitting in a warehouse in New Jersey since back in June, just waiting for me to complain and uh, looked at the tracking information. It had not moved until the day before they shipped it, then bang, all of a sudden it showed up. So they got something going on, I don't know what. Anyway, the version is five. Uh, it is uh, version 5 and the firmware revision is 1.10 Delta. Uh, that, according to what I can find out, that's the latest one. Uh, it covers 10 KC to 250 megahertz continuously and then it jumps from 400 megahertz to 2 gigahertz and uh, it'll display 160 uh, KC of bandwidth um, and of course it does all the it does all the modes AM sideband DSB CW synchronous AM FM wideband FM FM stereo and all that so I there isn't much that it doesn't do and they've really come out with an interesting product anyhow uh, I'll, I'll put the link on the, the old friends net in a little while and try to try to upload this video but it's going to be a big one <laughs> hope it sounds okay I, I had trouble getting the camera positioned so uh, I guess uh, this is I guess this is a 73 round I'm not sure but if it is uh, I hereby declare 73 <laughs> over to Brian KN4R N4LQ okay Steve very good N4LQ and the old friend KN4R repeat very good. And uh, interesting, you were strong, and then you went uh, down toward the noise level. But we definitely have some weird conditions going on. Very good on Malachite version 5. The, the uh, firmware revision. Uh, I wonder if the firmware is upgradable after the fact. Somehow. And uh, I'll take a look at it on uh, the uh, eBay as well. So congratulations again on getting uh, the receiver. And uh, maybe you'll figure out a use for that little... Uh, Yeah. 
or somewhere around that time. Uh, George, if you're still there, K4GDN, W4MEC, bye-bye. Go ahead, George. Okay, I kind of lost him there at the end. And Charlie, there's a really good, a really good article on, online. This is by, by Barry Williams called, called "The Evolution of the National HRO and Its Contribution to the Winning of World War II." At the end of that, they do talk about the five and the five A and the five A one, and there were at least three major changes in that thing. The one that I have, it's a 5A1 rock version. It's it's one of the earlier ones with a round S meter and the older uh, type of uh, crystal filter with a variable capacitor for selectivity instead of the five position switch. But there are several things in there that it needs to be. One of the things you have to be aware of, there is no output transformer on that. And if you're going to listen to it with headphones, you really need to pull that output to so it's not running without a load. I, I mounted a little output transformer on the back of my cabinet, and I run a speaker with that. And I really like that five receiver. It's, it's a nice little radio. Uh, alignment procedures that they give on it are a little bit confusing. It got better uh, after looking at the procedure for about 52 one. I understand the five better than I did before. Uh, and you generally do that by varying the uh, input to the IF stage and see which one comes up stronger. But anyway, we joined today. Lee, really thanks for calling it, and I uh, thank everybody for all the signal reports. And uh, trying to get in here on Sunday. Sunday afternoon's a little bit of a problem for me, and we're getting ready to go on another RV trip, so I may be working on that. So with that, I think I turn it over to Boone. W uh, and Lee, thanks for calling the net. So send me through everybody. Boom coming to you. WA4 EVK in group, K4GDN. George is done. Hey, Boone, you still there? No, he left. Boone, are you still there? This is k 4 VWG. Boone signed off. I don't hear Boone. Does anybody hear him? Boone has signed off. Okay, well, Steve. This is K4 VWD. Steve, uh, that last transmission was a 100% copy. You were taking my estimator also. But the previous one where I couldn't copy had to do with the uh, noise gargling your audio. There wasn't anything wrong with your signal. It's just that the noise here is, is awful. And uh, Brian, I copied you a hundred percent, and so did G so back Gary and Buddy. So anyway, uh, it's been a good night. Uh, let me take a quick standby. Does somebody got uh, any final comments? If so, call me now. Uh, this is KZ4 Bob. I'm checking in late. Uh, wondering if anybody can copy me. Uh, KZ4B. Hello and goodbye. Sound good over here, John. Roger. Uh, I can hear Brian. Uh, the band is very short today, but you're coming in finally. Uh, hello, goodbye. KZ will be clear. Uh, 
Is there any fear? I guess not. The noise seems to be quieting down a little bit right now. So I say 73, God bless. I'm sorry I've had so much problem today, but it's not with my equipment. It's somebody in the neighborhood, I guess, or nearby. So again, 73, God bless. This is K4 VWD now closing the old friend's neck. So long.